Hey Bremerton, time to check out Shenanigans, downtown Bremerton's new Irish pub on this week's edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast. Stick with us. Welcome back to this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast, sponsored by the Admiral Theatre. Story number one today, Shenanigans on 4th Street is open for business. The owners, who run the horse and cow pub and grill up the street, have transformed this former mobster Mike's Tavern into a cozy Irish pub. Well, it's a complete Irish menu, complete Irish bar. When you walk through the door, you feel like you've left Bremerton and you stepped into Ireland. That's kind of the feel we wanted, that's the feel we got. And uh, we're hoping everybody else will take it with a warm welcome. Well, we started in January and it's now April 9th. We're open now, so several months. The goal is to bring some people downtown, um, liven up downtown, get people wandering around and coming in and enjoying the place. Story number two today, some people commute by car, others on a bike, but Chris Weinberger commutes on one wheel. The Bremerton resident is among a growing number of people who are finding creative ways to commute to work. I think that people should play as much as possible and this allows me to do that every day. There's an old adage that says you don't stop playing because you get old, you get old because you stop playing and I firmly believe that. Kind of a long story but they adjusted the bus schedule um, and so the closed bus stop was not working anymore so I wanted to get to work quicker. I originally was riding a bike but then I got to work all sweaty and so I investigated other options and this is where I ended up. And I'll be featuring other unique commuters in upcoming episodes of the Bremerton Beat Blast. If you think you are a candidate, please send me an email to josh.farley at kitsapsun.com. Right, story number three this week, the first church in Bremerton is turning 125 years old this year. Parishioners of Our Savior's Lutheran Church are said to have hauled the wood on their backs to build the original location at 4th and Washington. Today, the church lives on at 11th and Venita and will be celebrating its 125th this Sunday at a special service. My great-grandparents, Theryl and Christine Lund, were two of the 13 Norwegians that started this church in 1893. The church was founded from downtown Bremerton, has moved here in 1940, and we've been here ever since. In 2009, the truck lost control on 11th Street and came through the corner of the building. And, and the good thing about that day was nobody was hurt, especially with the preschool and families just dropping off children. And um, the driver of the vehicle was good also. After the construction work was completed, we were able to come back into this sanctuary and just had a joyous um, worship service on that Easter Sunday. Story number four this week, the Salvation Army's winter shelter recently closed down. The shelter had housed about 60 of our most vulnerable at its shelter on 6th Street for the past four months thanks to a county grant. But that county grant has run out and Salvation Army staff don't expect to get it in the future. The hope is enough affordable housing can be built in the coming months and years ahead to house this vulnerable population. This Sunday I'll be moderating a forum on Kitsap homelessness put on by West Sound for Social Justice. It begins at 1.30 p.m. at Bremerton United Methodist Church on Marine Drive. And finally, story number five today, Bremerton is going to step up its code enforcement game. The city has hired an additional code enforcement officer and Mayor Greg Wheeler rolled out a series of solutions before the city council recently in an effort to target particularly trash graffiti and weeds. We're showing our citizens we care about their neighborhoods, we care about their families and their, and their children, and um, we're, we're ready to move forward. If there are folks that are resources are low for a number of reasons, we'll work with them. If it's somebody who's just ignoring our codes, we'll have other tools to address that in our, in our new code. That's our show for this week, Bremerton. We'll see you next time. Music for this week's Bremerton Beat Blast was written and performed by Jeremy Wrench and produced and recorded at Jeff Tassin Studios. Wrench's song, As Good As It Gets, was featured. After you've left My breath escaping in the cold The silent wood frozen and old Like a dry throat choking on your fire